what's good y'all it's your girl miss golden 83 and i am here to do a self-care read for leo leos for the signs the collective energy of leo okay remember you guys these are general messages not personal so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay um Hey, Leo, hey. I don't know why I was thinking of telling y'all something else, okay? Um, now, your girl got tired yesterday. My limit is the max, at least four signs, like four readings for a day, like a day. No more than four. Three is the goal. But I pushed myself really hard and um, fasting a little bit during the day. Um, so like intermittent fasting a little bit, um, spirit got me doing something. So <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. Whatever spirit is telling me I need to do, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, but we're going to get into y'all self-care read. Okay. Um, this will be a staple for as long as spirit needs me to do it here on YouTube. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, if y'all want to check out some previously done um, self-care reads, you can go over to my Instagram, Golden Abstracts. Go to the IG icon, IGTV icon, and you can go and look at um, your previous videos from there, okay? So without further ado, we're going to get into y'all's reading. I will say one thing. That's what Spirit wanted me to say because I went and looked. Whenever I look over to the right, I'm looking out the window because um, I have trees and woods and stuff like that. So if y'all ever see me veer off to the right, that's why. But I looked out the window and them damn gnats are back out there again. I told y'all. I told y'all yesterday the gnats we're only there during y'all's reading, okay? So there's got to be something going on, some meeting, some talking, something going on, something buzzing, okay? Not calling y'all nets. I'm just saying what I'm seeing, okay? Because the crazy thing is, I did three other readings yesterday. I did an Aries, Aquarius, and Cancer, and the gnats were gone. The gnats only showed up during y'all's reading, okay? So there's some something going on in the air for y'all guys okay leos so without further ado let's get into y'all's reading spirit angel guys what self-care messages do we have for leo self-care messages for leo keep it simple spirit Yeah, y'all got some people talking, okay, in a frenzy, okay, is what I'm hearing, spirit. Self-care messages for Leo, self-care messages for Leo, keep it simple, spirit. far away. That's my thermos. <laughs> Keep it simple, spirit. Self-care messages for Leo. What does, self, what does Leo have to work on for their self-care? Okay, we got two here. So we have connect with crystals. Number 45, same. Okay. Spirit. What other self-care messages do we have for Leo? Self-care messages for Leo. Keep it simple, Spirit. Do we have two more for Leo? We do. 
Spirit gave me exactly what I asked for. At the bottom of the deck, we have plan a vacation. Plan a vacation. Okay. Oof, some decks around here. I gotta get me another table, y'all. I need more workspace. Hopefully I'll be getting one soon, sometime next week. So I can spread out a little bit more, okay? Oh, wait, there was something hidden. There was three more, okay? There was a third, there was a third card up underneath the two, okay? So you guys have five cards. So usually when however many cards come out, that's how many cards um that's how many days i stretch you guys out even though whenever you see this is timeless but this could stretch out for the next five five days for you for whenever you see this video okay so we have um create art create art okay that was hidden up underneath take a walk okay number 52 and flow like water okay number 24 okay so you guys are about to be real busy okay maybe that's why with the gnats um i'm hearing like as far as like daytime like your daytime job or you're having to work on a lot of things so um it's been really hard for you to find time for yourself but spirit is saying you need to okay we are going to pull some crystals for you guys. If y'all are not familiar with my self-care reads, I do pull crystals um, out of the crystals deck um, to provide you with any crystals that could help you along your self-care journey, okay? Um, whatever comes out um, for you. So we will do that, okay? So connect with crystals. You just need some time to have some meditation, to recenter yourself, okay, to gain some clarity on um, any type of situations that are happening in your life, okay. Um, with these nets, I swear, I keep looking at them. You guys are probably, you know, really busy at this time, doing a lot of things, um, having to be involved in a lot of stuff. So it's like you just need some clarity to get through all the busyness, okay? Take some time to yourself if you possibly can, okay? Then we have sing. I'm hearing at least five minutes. You have five minutes to just stop and center yourself, okay? So sing, okay? Um, feeling like there's a need for you to raise your vibration up a little bit. Um, more so, I'm getting clear your crown chakra. Okay, clear your crown chakra of any negative energy. Um, listen to music um, or sing music that is going to be very uplifting um, to raise your vibrations, especially to clear out um, your crown chakra. It could be blocked or just clouded with a lot of things that aren't serving your highest good. Okay. Number 17, create art, create art. Um, tap into your creative side. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Um, just create something. It could be, um, crafting or doesn't necessarily have to be painting and it doesn't have to make sense okay i love art um as you guys know um or may not know um i also started doing abstract art before i even got into tarot okay and i still dabble in it a little bit um now but art doesn't have to be precise art can be anything Okay, you can turn anything into art. People, what, that guy that just put a banana on a canvas and it sold for like millions of dollars. Like literally anything can be turned into art. 
okay so just tap into your creative side um i'm hearing maybe like a um like a paint and sip or something like that or um i have one that i need to finish which is um a paint by number um that i need to finish it was helping me learn patience um a little bit which i still need some help with um, but i'm not as bad as i used to be um but yeah just um let your hand move across the canvas however it wants to move okay um and be proud of it next we have take a walk take a walk okay um I feel like the path that you, you're on, I feel like it's like a golden path um, that is leading you away from, like you've accomplished so much, you've got over the mountain of hurdles um, that has been put in, in front of you and you've made it now to greener pastures, um, a different part of yourself that you didn't know that you could find. Okay, um, a place of peace. Um, I'm hearing level ground. Okay, so taking that walk will help you reflect on the hurdles that you have gotten over in the past. Okay, I keep looking, them nets still there. No. <laughs> Number 24, flow like water. Flow like water, okay? Move with, um, tap into that water energy. Some of you could have water placements in your chart, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but really, it's just about letting yourself go with the flow of things, um, not fighting the current, kind of going with it, okay? Because it's going to lead you um, to a happier place, okay? Um, just, I'm hearing roll with the tide, um, ride the wave, um, because it's going to take you to a place of enlightenment, okay? Um, if you allow it to, okay? Like I said, bottom of the deck was um, plan a vacation. So some of you need to like actually get away um, for yourself, even if it's um, you by yourself, just being able to clear your head um, and explore maybe new lands, um, new horizons um, to really help open up your third eye. Um, if it's not already open, um, but do it for you. Like I said, no family, no friends, just be that exotic stranger in a new place, okay? Somewhere outside of your normal, where you would normally go, okay? Um, but of course, have like an emergency contact or something like that. Um, so yeah, that, that's all I have. So now we're going to go in with the mindful messages and clarify for you guys. Remember to not today. <laughs> Spirit, angel guides, tell me why connect with crystals is here for Leo. Connect with crystals. Thank you. Okay. I'm hearing also like as I'm looking at the gnats. <laughs> like you it's like you've got people on their toes about something okay and people are trying to hurry up and move like you're trying to get them to move at your speed um but spirit is saying you know some things are out of your control understand that some things are out of your control 
um, you can only push things but so far. Um, you've done all the work that you need to do. Just, you know, let things flow naturally as they need to. It's no problem like checking in occasionally to see like the progress of something. But um, I'm definitely hearing like move, move, move. Like <laughs> you are definitely, I feel like I'm hearing like applying pressure. Okay. So that's for someone, not everybody. Okay. So connect with crystals is being clarified by opportunity, opportunities for growth, opportunities for growth. Okay. Feel like this is the throat chakra getting activated here okay opportunities for growth everything is happening for me in my evolution I am NOT a victim of things that happen I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges along my journey I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version and I am thankful for them okay so that's great that it's getting paired with, I'm paying attention to the number 11 here, um, connect with crystals, okay, because you are evolving into your highest self at this time, okay, um, you're not looking at things or spirit is saying not to look at things um, from a victim standpoint that certain things happen for you for a reason. Um, if it's related to some um, interpersonal relationships that you have, um, such as uh, your family or friends, um, and you just find yourself pulling away from those things that are no longer serving you, it's because you're going um, along this journey to your better self, okay? And you're not going to be able to take everyone with you. Okay, um, this is about you right now, and it should be about you. It should always be about you first before everybody else, okay? And just be grateful for the lessons that you've been able to learn. Spirit, why is number 45 here? Why is number 45 here for Sing? Sing for Leo. Keep it simple, spirit. Why is Sing here for Leo? Why is Sing here for Leo? Keep it simple, spirit. Why is Sing here for Leo? intentions intentions being clarified by uh, clarifying same okay sacral chakra work here okay kind of feel like it's moving up to the third eye or sacral and third eye together Today is a fresh start. No matter how my day was yesterday, I can make today whatever I want. My intention for the day is blank, okay? So fill in the blank of what you would like your intention to be, okay, Leos, okay? Look at the day as a clean slate, okay? Um, the calendar being here definitely signifies um, 
some of you may want to start a new habit um, of doing things um, and your intention doesn't have to be super you know it doesn't have to be huge it could be the smallest of things like drinking more water or eating healthier um, things of that nature but it's to help raise your vibration okay it's to help your sacral chakra okay um, as far as your creativity as far as your um, inner child work things of that nature okay so whatever happened yesterday two days ago a week ago start over today with a brand new intention to be at a higher vibration okay and uh set it as a reminder for yourself um you know write a note to yourself um put it at the door so that way you see it put it somewhere where you'll see it you know on a regular basis of what your new intention is for every day um, it literally only takes 21 days to create a habit and 21 days to break one okay so you got to figure out which way you want to go if you want to break a habit or start a new one uh, a healthier one set the intention and watch how it will change your life slowly but surely like i said it can be the smallest of things even from being saying you want to be more positive okay learning how to redirect negative energy into positive energy it's definitely doable you just have to set the intention okay the bottom of the deck spirit told me to look at the bottom of the deck because you are at the edge of greatness, okay? Opening up that heart chakra um, to what truly makes you happy, to um, that overwhelming amount of love for yourself and pouring it into others so that eventually they grow themselves, okay? Spirit, why is create art here? For Leo, why is create art here for Leo? Mm, that's too many spirit. Um, I'm hearing some of you might be purchasing art too. You might be purchasing um, or looking to purchase some art for your home. Something that you can look at to be inspired and inspired by. Okay, or maybe you have some art in your home that is inspiring you, um, or it does inspire you every day. Spirit, why is create art here for Leo? Keep it simple, Spirit. Why is create art here for Leo? Why is create art here for Leo? So we have expansive, expansive, clarifying, create art. Every day I am learning new things and expanding into my highest potential. Okay. So there you could be learning about art. Like I said, someone could be browsing for art. There is my own energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. Okay, um, root chakra going into, this is all your base chakras here, um, solar plexus, um, sacral, and root chakra, 
okay? Heart chakra here with the expansive, okay? So I think you're getting more in tune with maybe abstract art, um, doing some research on it. Um, like I said, you may be looking for some type of artwork to put in your home um, or that will inspire you, okay? Um, so you're doing some background work on it, or like I said, you could be looking into um, doing this yourself, creating a piece for yourself um, that will inspire you. Like I said, I heard paint and sips, um, things of that nature, but some of you, I'm feeling really strongly, you're, you're looking for a new piece for your home, okay? Um, really um spirits like you do abstract art i do abstract art um on on the side i i just did i think like about it's been like about a month or so ago two months or so ago i did a commission piece um for a friend of mine um but I do dabble in in the art world. You guys can see some of it, uh, some of it on my Etsy shop. Um, I have some small pieces, like twelve by twelves, things of that nature. And you can find that on my Etsy shop. Um, shameless plug, I know, but Spirit just told me to say something. So, um, and I'm like diligently. Well, not I, that's the wrong word. I'm trying to create another piece. So eventually that will go um, on my Etsy shop as well. That's if I decide not to keep it. Um, but I could be letting some, some older pieces go um, as well. But nonetheless, it's not about me. It's about you guys, Leo. Okay. So yeah, some of you are expanding um, your taste in art and things of that nature. So you could be looking into pieces for your house, okay? That will definitely um, bring you some inspiration. Spirit, why just take a walk here? 2737 as we get into your reading. Why just take a walk here for Leo? Why just take a walk here for Leo? Keep it simple, Spirit. Why is take a walk here for Leo? Thank you. So, weirdly enough, okay, we have creator of happiness on the bottom of the deck, but we have dance it out, okay? We have dance it out going with take a walk. Um... feeling like the heart and throat chakra here. Um, I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start feel, whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel as the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body, okay? Um, I'm not getting this for everybody. Um, maybe a small few of you. Um, some of you may be like going to a cookout or something like that, um, where there's going to be music playing. Um, and Spirit is saying, you know, that that'll be the moment to where you know you end up dan dancing it out. Someone's dancing outside. Okay, so it could be like a cookout or something like that. Um, maybe at first it's somewhere that you don't really want to be. Or you don't want to be around, you know, a certain group of people. But then it's like music starts playing and you start feeling happy where you're just, you know, letting that negative energy come off of you and just vibing with the music. Okay, 
um, and just feeling free and releasing all that, any heavy burdens that'll, you know, be on you or, or that are on you, okay? Because you are the creator of your own happiness, okay? Sacral and solar plexus chakra being activated here, okay? So maybe music is a source of your happiness. I mean, we do have Sing that came out earlier as well. So I'm not really surprised, okay? But um, be the creator of your own happiness, not um, dependent on other people to make you happy um, or to keep you happy. Um, regardless of where their energy is, you are primarily focused on your own energy and staying in a high vibration at this time. Spirit-wise, flow like water here. That is too many. Spirit-wise, flow like water here for Leo. Keep it simple, spirit-wise, flow like water here for Leo. flow like water here for Leo. Wise flow like water here for Leo. Keep it simple. Flow like water. So we have release here at the bottom of the deck. Return to the body, return to the body, clarifying flow like water. When I am caught up in a stressful moment, I can move my awareness to my body. Is my jaw clenched, my body tense? How is my posture? This helps me to see where I can relax and let go of tension. Now I can return to any situation more calm and present, okay? So I feel like this goes pretty good with flow like water, okay? That's dealing with your third eye and crown chakra, okay? Um, you know how, and then with release, I'm feeling or seeing somebody like float in, in water and Spirit is saying, you know how, like, when you first learn how to swim, they tell you to, you know, relax your body. Um, when you're the floaty, like, learning how to float, okay? And in order for you to float, you can't be tense, okay? Your, your body has to be relaxed in order for it to naturally become buoyant, Okay, if you're fighting with the water or you automatically put yourself in a state of mind where, oh, I'm going to sink or, oh, I'm going to drown, then that's exactly what's going to happen. Not necessarily, but, you know, you're not going to be relaxed enough. You're going to be thrashing about in the water. You know, it's not comfortable. Okay, but when you release the need to control the water and how the water moves instead of letting the water move you when you learn to relax your arms float I'm seeing someone's arms out like this like stretched out and they're calm and then once they calm themselves the rest of their body comes from up underneath them and comes to the top of water and then their level okay so that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing is someone leveling out okay 
being aware of their body, being aware of their feelings, their emotions, um, and finally learning how to free themselves of control um, of how everything around them moves and just solely paying attention to their own movements, okay? Um, and like I said, releasing, okay? Any, any need to control um, the things around you, okay? So returning to your body, returning to your center and really being aware of what you're doing, what you're saying, how you're moving, um, things of that nature because you have to realize, and I'm hearing this strongly, however you react or move is a reflection on other people. Okay, it may have a direct reflection to others um, because how you're choosing to move, people may think you're doing it for the wrong reasons or because someone is making you do it. Um, but that's not really the case um, for you. Okay, it almost kind of does correlate as we're wrapping up your reading here. It does kind of correlate with um, your general read because your general read talked about you defending someone's honor. Okay, um, and so just just be mindful how you're doing it. Okay, how you're moving. Okay. Rain, rain in that control just a little bit is what spirit is saying. Just a little bit. You've gotten, you've said what you needed to say. Okay. Um, you've made the request, things that you want done. Let them play out as they will. But don't let it um, affect you. Okay. Okay. So I know I done shuffled this at least more than three times, but this is the crystal deck. <laughs> okay, I shuffle, I normally just shuffle three times um, and then uh, cut by threes, okay. I don't see the gnats anymore, okay. I think they're, I think they're gone. There's a few, no, there's a few like hovering right there. Child, I can't, I can't do nets. I can't, especially when I'm outside. I just don't like nets. I just don't. Because they, you ever walk through some nets? It's insane. It's the, oh, I can't. I can't. I don't, I don't do bugs anyway. But let's get into, that's neither here nor there. But they, they're there. They were there yesterday during y'all's reading and they're here today. Spirit. Let's get some crystals. The see, it's and it makes me itch. Automatically makes me itch just thinking about walking through some gnats. Um, spirit, let's get some crystals for Leo. Keep it simple. What crystals do we have for Leo? Keep it simple, spirit. What crystals do we have for Leo? for Leo. Okay, Spirit's telling me to take this one here. Crystals for Leo, Spirit, keep it simple. Sometimes I'll get guided to just pull some, other times some will come right out, like this one, okay? Can we get one more for 
Leo. Let's have one more spirit. Spirit said take the two here. Feels like more than two spirit. <laughs> it is, because it is. Okay, but nonetheless. We got y'all's crystals. Okay, so we have literally five for you guys. Okay, so let's run them down. We have Carnaline. Carnaline. Lepidolite. Lepidolite. Libyan Gold Tectite. Emerald and Shungite. Shungite. Okay. So maybe you want to work with each of these crystals, you know, over the next five days, one at a time, um, or all at one time for one meditation session. Um, you guys definitely can go on Amazon, Etsy eBay if you don't have a crystal plug or a crystal shop that you can go to. Um, crystals usually don't cost too much. Um, depends on the size and the variety because sometimes it depends on how it's sourced. Um, and it can be somewhat expensive. Like um, I think Moldavite is pretty expensive to get. Um, so it just all depends on the size. Um, the size and the variant okay so carnelian okay carnelian uh, dealing with your sacral chakra here and this was with connect with crystals I have it placed under there so it is a cherry red chalcedony used by ancient Romans in signet rings wax doesn't stick to it and by modern folk to ward off insecurities Carnelian's fiery energy helps spin us out of fearful thought cycles and into action. Those who need it are the understimulated, anybody looking to get acquainted with their fears. Hello, fear. My name is. We have some beautiful work to do together. Now, shut the fuck up and let's do this, okay? Where you should put this is wherever you want to inject some passion and confidence, um, i.e. your palate or your pelvis, okay? When, uh, where you, when you should use it is when you find your creativity or sex drive on sleep mode, okay? So go with your gut, all right? So dealing with that, um, like I said, sacral chakra. All right, sacral chakra work. Okay, so for you guys, um, just finding new ways um, to find that opportunity for you to grow. Okay, connecting with crystals to jumpstart your five day run here towards that art. Okay, that you're trying to create whatever kind of art it is, does not matter, or if you're looking for some art. Um, you're going to tap into that creative side with carnelian, okay? Lepidote, lepidolite, lepidolite, okay? Lepidolite is a lithium-infused mica with rose and lavender-hued spa vibes. Um, those who need it are the perpetually frazzled, okay? The oso-cerebral, or type A workaholics, okay? I did say somebody is busy trying to get other people to move, 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 okay? Um, where you should put it is in a bubble bath on the meditation cushion in the fetal position when the pressure to be successful, fit, and fabulous 24-7, 365 is too much, okay? Maybe you've been putting too much work on yourself or pushing too hard to get yourself to a certain health goal, okay? You have to realize that slow progress is still progress, okay? Um, you want, if it's in reference to losing weight, I'm hearing really strongly, um, it's a 
process, okay? You gotta create, the, I mean, intentions are right here, okay? Um, setting the intentions, okay? It's not gonna happen overnight, okay? First, because um, I battle with it myself, for me, I'm more so focused on maintaining where I am now, so that way I don't put as much pressure on myself to lose, 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 you know, trying to go hard, um, and then it's not coming off. Another thing that's attached to that is your emotional health, your self-care, your mental health. When you drop, to drop the weight, you have to drop the emotional weight, okay? You have emotional weight on you. When you drop that, you'll start seeing the physical weight drop off, okay? So when you should use it is when freaking out or to prevent that, put the phone on do not disturb, hold lepidolite in each palm and just let yourself be for five minutes. What did I say before? Spirit literally had me say, we said it, five minutes. You have five minutes to dedicate to yourself to just breathe and just be, okay? Relax the muscles between your shoulder blades, lengthen your breaths, and let go of all the drama. It wasn't yours to begin with anyway. Enter your chill zone, okay, with Lepa Delight. Um, I will list these crystals in the description box um, so that way you guys can refer back to them so that way you can, you know, do a screenshot and go and search for these crystals, okay? So, Libyan Gold Tektite, okay? What it is, a 28 million year old Saharan desert glass only found in, you guessed it, the Sahara Desert. This gem is yellow, but far from mellow. Those who need it are the navel gazing and brooding binge watchers, anyone looking to hit the street with some extra swagger, cancers, okay? So you could be dealing with a cancer or just have cancer in your chart. Doesn't have to be though. Um, where you should put it is hold Libyan gold tektite or this card at your will center just above the navel and set some goals, okay? Seriously, make a list. Then call on the fiery beyond ancient energy of this stone to help you break through the burning desire to binge watch the day away. The best time to use it is when you get, when your get up and go has ghosted you. Banish the blahs, okay? So this is dealing with your solar plexus Okay, um, you want to, if you want to break out of um, the mundane or um, procrastination, things of that nature, like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, or oh, I don't have, I can do it later, whatever the case may be, um, Libyan gold tech type will help motivate you. Okay, emerald, emerald, okay. Um, one of the four precious gemstones, emerald radiates with a wet, lush, verdant energy. Historically, emerald is associated with love, beauty, and sex. So if you're into any of that, you might want to associate yourself with this saturated green gem. Those who need it are aestheticists, bohemians, epicureans, or transcend Transcendentalist. Transcendentalist. Um, you should put it on a chain over your heart or on a ring at the base of your left thumb, perched atop the Venus mount. Okay? You should use it when you've temporarily lost the courage to love and be loved, when you're in need of a total refresh. Open your heart to limitless possibilities with emerald. Point your heart towards grace, okay? So that is landing underneath. Take a walk and dance it out, okay? So just 
learning to open up that heart chakra, okay? Um, and expand yourself. Self-love first, then exude it to others, okay? The last one we have for you guys is Shungite. Shungite. Shungite is a coal-like mineral. Its carbon molecules called fuller nests or buckyballs form in the shape of tiny geodesic domes. It's electroconductive and it's only found in Karelia, Russia, where local spas have taken advantage of the minerals purifying powers for centuries. Those who need it is anybody looking to get honest with themselves. Where you should put it is in your water bottle to create shungite infused drinking water. Meditating with shungite can get the good vibes flowing through you like electricity. Though a neon sign, through a neon sign that reads, yes, okay? When you should use it is when it's time to reclaim your energy from wherever it's been and whomever it's been with. Get real with your truth, okay? With Shungite, okay? So really be, I'm feeling like someone should be really honest with themselves um, as far as even just the connections that you have with certain people, okay? If you're not feeling their vibe or you just can't be around them anymore, you know, feel free to, you know, let them know, okay? Um, and what your real truth is, okay? Sometimes the hard truth is, you know, having to remove yourself from people, places, and things that are no longer serving you because you just don't vibe with it anymore, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. It means you're evolving. It means that you're changing and you want your environment to change. Um, you can't change people. They have to want to change for themselves, okay? but you can change you. It's not your job to, to change them. Um, you can give them advice along the way, but it's up to them to take that advice, okay? What they do, it, do with it is their business. You gave it, it is what it is, okay? So, 52.45, as we end out your reading to find out what energies are around you, okay? We went a little bit over because you guys had five cards um, all the way down the line. So I feel like this is talking about some need for change or change is coming in your life at this time, Leo, okay? Spirit, what is the overall energy surrounding Leo? Can we just have one card for Leo? Yin and yang almost like to come out, so could be trying to just find balance in your life at this time. Spirit, what is the overall energy for Leo? Keep it simple, Spirit. Overall energy for Leo. We do have appreciation at the bottom of the deck, okay? I feel like you guys are needing to learn to appreciate yourself, appreciate the things that are around you, the good around you, and also appreciating, like I said earlier, the lessons that have been shown to you or things that you've had to experience in your lifetime. It was for a reason. It was for your growth, okay? But at this time, there is some indecision okay there's some indecision going on here okay um like i said it could have to do with people places or things that are no longer serving you wondering if you're making the right decision on things that are happening in your life at this time could be um connections um with people the unknown is on either side okay um, but I'm seeing two butterflies here, one white and one yellow, 
okay? So I don't feel like either decision is bad, okay? I really don't. Um, one has autumn leaves, the other one does not, okay? Um, so there could be a decision that you have to make or that will be coming up in the autumn, okay, in fall, okay, um, doesn't have to be, that's just something that's coming up as I'm looking at the card, okay, um, but I'm hearing a strong, like, should I stay, should I go, um, some of you may be trying to plan for the future and you're wondering, you know, the different paths that you can take um, and how it will affect your future, okay? Um, or there could be something coming up where you already made the decision and you're just wondering if you made the right one, okay? but I'm not getting anything else outside of that. Spirit isn't giving me anything else. Um, but nonetheless, um, make sure whatever the decision is that you're trying to make, um, make sure you're doing it for yourself, not for anyone else, okay? Um, don't get distracted or detoured um, from what it is that your soul is calling for you to do at this time, okay? Um, it could be something of wondering if you are good enough um, or if something you are doing is good enough, okay? Um, I'm just hearing a lot of decisions that have to be made, okay? Um, and it feels like you're at the forefront of making those decisions. But the choice is ultimately up to you, okay? Nobody else, all right? So that is all I have for you guys, um, Leos. Went a lot longer than what I anticipated, but even when I was on Instagram, most of these went about an hour um, to an hour and a half. Just depends on how in-depth um, the, the cards are um, and what comes out so like I said you guys had five cards all the way down except for the energy I just wanted to pull spirit just said we just needed one card so um, yeah there's a change coming okay um, a huge change and possibly a huge decision that you do have to make um, but it's going to be for your greater good is what I'm hearing Okay, so take care, Leos, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.